Чо-чин-чин-чин-чин-чин-чин-чин-чин-чин-чин-чин-чин-чин-чин-чин-чин-чин-чин-чин-чин-чин-чин-чин-чин-чин-чин-чин-чин-чин-чин-чин-чин-
Uh, the Sacha family was the first Tibetan family to come to the United States, and he has, with the help of the Sangha and many teachers, built an incredible monastery of Tibetan Buddhism. Uh, I travel back and forth to New York City on a regular basis. There is nothing like Sakya Monastery of Tibetan Buddhism in the greater New York City area. Uh, there are very few monasteries in the United States period of Tibetan Buddhism, so this is really an exemplary, very, very special place led and created by a very special spiritual leader. So um, in purchasing uh, before we uh, even before they even purchased this place, um, when they liked this place and they felt that this was the right place, it, they couldn't just go and purchase it because in Tibetan tradition, whenever we do um, some special activity, and especially an activity, such a large activity as purchasing a uh, building for the monastery, there were many considerations to be kept in mind, doing divinations, um, looking at auspicious dates, doing special pujas, and so all that had to come together before they even started on the monastery. The monastery's building was initially erected in 1928 as the first Presbyterian church. In 1984, a Baptist group sold it to Sakya Tegjin Choling Center. When it moved to the Greenwood area, the center reorganized under His Holiness Jigdal Dagchen Sakya and adopted the name Sakya Monastery of Tibetan Buddhism. Since the purchase, many years of hard work and renovation by dedicated volunteers have brought the building to its present form and grace. If you are willing to give to the monastery in whatever fashion, material, spiritual, emotional, he returns uh, the blessings in so many different ways that if you experience it, you realize that he has mastered a whole level of spiritual attainments. At various stages of the renovation, the highest ranking lamas in Tibetan Buddhism, including His Holiness the Dalai Lama and His Holiness Sakya Trizin, have consecrated the monastery's building and its contents, imbuing them with the enlightened spirit of the Buddha and transforming the building into a North American home for the Buddha's teaching. In addition, the monastery contains many holy objects from India, Tibet, and Nepal. Following the first year of renovation, the downstairs cultural hall began to be used as an interim location for the monastery's religious services. For the next 12 years, the main shrine room underwent remodeling. Numerous Buddhist artworks were donated by the monastery's members, friends, as well as by professional artists and Rinpoche's family. Extensive murals were painted on site. Many of these murals were painted by Tibetan artist Dawa Dundup. 
but the amount of the detail and the material, material and quality that this monastery has, that's something um, I think I would consider, you know, rare to find anywhere. Most monasteries would have very, they would have a lot of murals, but even when you look up close, you'll see the details are not there and the quality is not there. During this period, Bernardo Bertolucci shot scenes for the film Little Buddha at the monastery. This venture helped pay for the new wood parquet floor in the shrine room. Outside the building, in keeping with the style of traditional Tibetan monasteries, a portico was added over the front entrance. By 1997, the remodeling was sufficiently finished so that the main shrine room could be used for meditations. In 1998, the outside of the monastery's building was painted in traditional Tibetan colors, and the memorial stupa was erected to Daesung Rinpoche III. The bell-shaped stupa symbolizes the Buddha's enlightened mind. In 2001, a library edition capable of holding at least 5,000 volumes was finished and opened. In the summer of 2010, Dakchen Rinpoche consecrated 32 new Padmasambhava prayer wheels along the east side of Sakya Monastery. For the purpose of the preservation of Tibetan culture and religion, Rinpoche has overseen the religious activities and administration of the monastery since its inception. His work has also included the founding of Tibetan Buddhist communities overseas in India, Hong Kong, Taiwan, Nepal, Bhutan, and Southeast Asia, and teaching at Buddhist centers around the world. The teachings of His Holiness Jigdal, Dr. Sakya, extend far beyond just Seattle, and actually he's revered as a spiritual leader by thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people in Tibet, Nepal, India. And it's when you visit, say, Darjeeling, and you see thousands of people lined up to get a blessing by him, you really understand who His, his Holiness Jigdal, Dr. Sakya, really is. And I'm just so thankful for Rinpoche for having done such a great work. People, most people did not know the importance of at the time, you know. People were busy in their own lives and now this is like the heart of, you know, Tibetan community and Dharma practitioners and it benefits so many people. Um, so it, that's just amazing the vision and the effort and the result. Well, Rumche obviously has worked so hard for so many years to build this monastery and it's been a wonderful success. Rumche has been so gracious in allowing us, you know, to gather. Um, we didn't have a gathering place. Uh, we hope to one of these days. But uh, right now, I mean, the Sakya Monastery is our gathering place. Now is uh, West people, is uh, many Tibetan Buddhist community, Buddhist Lama, Buddhist teacher is coming to here. That's why we together, West people, we share. That's a benefit only no monastery, all of we are, because we are uh, really changed to your suffering, your is a problem. What do you have? That's why we change to for benefit, for useful benefit in Buddhism practice. Uh, I wish His Holiness Dachi Rinpoche a long life. 
Also, we have this Hua uh, Sasha Monastery, Dhamma practitioner. We have a between relationship, more practice, more learning, more this monastery we have 100% grow up to. Also, we have wish finally is enlightenment. Also, just we everybody wish everybody this day. Past 30 years, Jabjadachar Rambuchi, Damokosho, and the other members. Of course, the you know our staffs like secretaries, you know, and of course the lamas, and the teachers, work so hard, unbelievable, you know. So now we have beautiful temple, and uh, you know the lovely society, you know. Mm. And those precious books look behind me. So we have everything now. So now the time to practice. Time to, you know, come to the monastery. You know, time to open the, the Dharma books. Really, you know, time to sit down and generate love, compassion for all sentient beings. So now we are in the golden time. Thank you, Your Holiness Tigda Dakshin Sakya, for your infinite kindness, compassion, and wisdom and inspiring vision of building Sakya Monastery. We really appreciate all that you have done, Adinche and Gusuring. This is for many generations to come, the benefits of this monastery. It's not just for, you know, his lifetime. He's got the tradition to give him that context. Taishi Thank you.